one more pour and we're done. I drove in Spain last week, so that was very stressful as well. Look at the shot, look at the shot. Final signature. That's a picture and a half. Look at all those waggy tails. Um, that is centre. 352. Cool. Mr. Hinge doesn't have to be bang in the middle. You get the two gates. You can put your hand in more off, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gain it is there, but you're better having that and then trying to gain it. I'm happy. Yes, I heard him say he's happy. Monday morning, we are working on the steel posts we got from Waring's. They're getting bolted in and then they're going to get concreted in. You'll see we've had, had, to, had to put two posts here and you're going to think, why are you doing that, Tom? Because when you've got this gate here, you want to swing it across on the, that side of the water trough. When you've got this gate here, because the cows are going to return that way, I need to sort that out, but it's going to be a temporary fix for a little bit. We're going to get the gate so it swings, I hope this makes sense, so it swings against there. The problem is if we've got a post in the middle, this gate would swing but then be on an angle there and this gate would swing and be on an angle there that's what the old posts used to do and it was a nightmare because it always just kept swinging back swinging back so the plan is to have two posts and then that gate will go flush against the water trough and then this gate will go flush against that water trough i will hold that sorry i'm talking to the, the world um. this will be then become our collecting yard, obviously. I hope this can fit all the cows in. We'll find out, won't we? To be fair, the old collecting yard couldn't fit all the cows in, and that's why we had the extra, extra bit, so I think we'll be all right. Lads are prepping for the big pour tomorrow. What well, is a big pour? It's like 18 cubes tomorrow. Plus, I know it's not huge for other people, but it is huge for me. I'm trying to keep my bills down. Full of concrete and full of rebar. Aaron and Mark said they must have spent all the money on that side of the yard and then this side. So, we might not need the channels and lids, which is great, but then I can use them for the um, car building, you know, when we get down that so It's not the end of the world, definitely not. If we don't have to use them, I'm not going to use them so we can get in the parlor quicker. The bad news is we don't have to rip that concrete or we don't have to rip this level. The bad news is that water there. That water there has been there since it must have drained the channels for you to have flats there shows what it used to do you don't really think about it it's my fault when we put the shed up i should have thought about it obviously that stays there now because it's concrete so we need to figure out how we're going to get rid of that and then we don't have to rip that up if we can't figure out a way to get rid of that we'll have to dig it up all right i'll dribble bar in this morning that's the cone that goes in the dribble bar and it slows the amount of slurry that comes in took it off today Inches of concrete, and what was the little bit? What an inch, inch and a half. And look, it's even taking Darren in. There used to be a channel there. Perfect, but definitely better than it was. Today she's gonna have a big day. I'll explain why in a minute. Some of you may have seen this, some of you may not. This is what I like to call the grease gun graveyard. <whistles> this is where the grease guns go. How many do you reckon work? I think that one might work. Yeah, I think that one works. One out of five. It's a big day because the man two is gonna have a bit of stick. And it is on me. I put her through it because we're trying to save 500 quid. Anyway, yep, it's a beautiful morning. It is a beautiful day. Rise and shine, world! It's gorgeous! You don't go the app! Class! So that is greasing done. She's ready for a big day. Today's poor. The team are back. So the idea was, Mark was saying, I don't know how we're going to get in here without the pump. And I was like, the pump would be 500 quid. And 500 quid is about three cubes of concrete. So three cubes of concrete go for free because we're using the old girl. And that's why we greased her, oiled her up, dieseled her. Look at that, she should do it. Oh, it will kill me if not. <laughs>
there we go that is 18 cubes in they've ordered three more cubes just to tidy up bit as well so this bit is finally done and unfortunately i'm gonna have to go it's 10 past 10. I want to hexagonness but i'm meant to be in the lake so. this is all done concrete to there concrete to there so this is where the cows are gonna come out everything slopes that way and slopes out so all the slurry should go out there yeah and we're gonna hexagon it all and then obviously i'm not gonna be back till sunday afternoon and hopefully fingers crossed if all goes to plan it might do it might not we might come back what milkshakes the good milkshakes, aren't they? White chocolate and raspberries on at the moment. So we're keeping staff happy with milkshakes. Rob, if you're watching this, this is what I do. Send more staff. Get it all done. But yeah, so if we come back on Friday, fingers crossed we'll have this done. It just depends how the day goes and depends what the sun does as well. So, right, we'll leave team to it. I'm going to go to Windermere. Four days with the wife and dog. I've tried to get as much done as I can before I go. Several days later. Yeah. Do you know which one, do you know what it is? Do some of the tattoo, that'd be amazing. No, yeah, that's the thing. The ones I've got now are quite good. Yeah. This is the second to last port. The team had done absolutely fantastic the way I was away. And they've done this bit and it looks absolutely mint. It looks amazing. And now we're just gonna do this bit. This bit's a bit of a ramp to make it nice and smooth into that building. So we'll start scraping there, which is incredible. Got about eight cubes. And um, they needed the big guns. There's only Mark and Darren. Big guns. Found them. Right, I'm gonna put this down and actually help. There we go. One more pour and we're done. We are done. Right, here, it's just finished on the flashing of the chair. Found out the bit where we didn't paint. So we're gonna have to sort that out. So I have a big job on. There's even a bigger job happening today. It's the final pour of the whole build, which is super exciting. Everything is going on. The guys set up yesterday. So we have the rebar in, black sheet underneath. We went all the way with the tops in the end because this would have just sloped it left. And Mark was like, how much of a puddle? A puddle would annoy you. A lot. She said, yeah, I'll rip it out, don't worry. So yeah, he absolutely smashed it, ripped that out. So we're ready for concrete. Like I said, I've got a big job on this morning. I'm here, but I'm not here. I'll be here about nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. So it's like half, uh, quarter past six this morning now. So I'll leave this with him. So the guys did use my GoPro, but it didn't record it. Very annoying. But hey, all this happens. Just done the final two pours. That's 12 cubes, I think. Have three cubes coming. Got a little mixer coming, which has never come before. Got a hell of a drop on that. So it should drain itself of moisture, which would be good. The final, final four. is leaving. That's very annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Am I straight? Oh, this is very exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going, you're going pissed. If this is wrong, by the way, I'll be able to remember this every time I see it. I know, and you'll just remember what a good day we're having together. <laughs> I drove in Spain last week. That was very stressful as well. Thank you so much. So we're just doing a job with Lizzie at the moment and she was like, I've got to see this. And how it gets done. It's very cool. Just not a cobble. Add a flat just so that we can... Farmer's putting two and two together. 
final signature. Final. Rowan. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> Happy days. So that is it. We have finally completed the yard. Uh, last bit of concrete, everything falls to there. I think I videoed a lot. It's been hard work, beautiful fall on there, fall to there. Channels are a bit skew with, but with what actually happened, it's a great result. That's done, that's done. Gates are in, hangings are on. The drop down's on as well. The concrete is officially done. Tom doesn't have to buy concrete ever again. You'll see this photo. Look at the shot, look at the shot. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Something to be very proud of. We've got TP there. Feels good. Tomorrow's gonna be a rubbish day, it's gonna rain. But it's gonna be hard to dampen this mood. To be fair. It sounds like it's really hard to be excited about because I'm just I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I did promise Joe before we do start this milking that no more projects until after baby's born and having a good time. So, and I think that's very, very fair because it's been a bit crazy busy. Oh, the other thing as well, dad put concrete in his bit there and he put this panel in today as well. Concrete there, ready for that. There's a bit to finish off, but I'm pretty happy. Right, panel's in tomorrow. Cows in on Monday. <laughs> Panels up. Nice. And Mark is taking all the kit back. Everything else has gone back today. 